One of the most poignant moments at the sentencing of Jahar Zarnayev this week came from the sister of slain MIT police officer Sean Collier. She spoke in personal terms about his loss and what it's done to her life. But along with that, she delivered a very pointed criticism of the news media. When MIT police officer Sean Collier was gunned down in his police cruiser just days after the Boston Marathon bombing, a big story got even bigger. Collier was allegedly shot and killed on the MIT campus by the marathon bombing suspects. Many of Collier's friends and several family members shared stories about Collier. People have asked me if Sean were here, what would you think? Are you kidding me? He would love this. This week in federal court, though, Sean's sister, Jennifer Rogers, said after the shooting, her life became a media circus, even a media assault, and that the press treated their grief as a salacious story, going on to say her private life was invaded. She was stalked on Facebook, becoming part of a big publicized tragedy. A private funeral will be held tomorrow for MIT police officer Sean Collier. True, there was a tremendous amount of attention to Collier's death, and no doubt some members of the media behaved badly. But whether that coverage left you with a pit in your stomach or a hole in your heart depends on your perspective. I have utmost respect for Jennifer Rogers. I believe she, she what happened to her, she felt it, she sensed it. She f was very pointed about this, that it destroyed her. She said she has a day in her life now putting on her underwear where she says she feels successful. But she had a lot of anger directed at the media too. And this idea that somehow the coverage was salacious is the idea that I'm pushing back on because I don't think anybody in the news media lusted after or groveled in or promoted this story. I mean, the media was profoundly affected by the Boston Marathon bombing. They were all there, you know, all the major media knew, were right there when it happened. They were in the thick of it when the shooting happened because the, the chase was on for these. So, and then to have a police officer shot on top of this, the media was definitely moved. And yeah, you, you want to know more about the family. We learned a tremendous amount about the family. If it was an invasion of privacy, it's, it's the sad outcome of being pulled unwillingly into a major story. Suddenly you're in it, even if you don't want to be. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. I mean, I, I think that you are exactly right. We can't dispute how she perceived uh, the way the media behaved mm -hmm. after her brother was killed and the, the worst event that ever befell her family started to play out. But at the same time, I think that we have to step back and, and understand that for the most part, uh, the media was extremely respectful toward uh, all of the victims of, of this tragedy. And you're right, the, the media was deeply affected by this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with what she said because this is what she right. perceived. She felt. I always feel sorry for families that get yeah. thrown into this. Uh, whether it's a marathon bombing or some kind of um, tragedy. I, I, I mean, I started my career having to walk uh, up to a house and knock on a door and say, oh, your son was killed last night in a drag race. Um, uh, can I talk to you about him? It's the hardest thing in the world. It's the hardest mm -hmm. thing in the world for that to be your job. And so I, I can completely, oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really tough some, job. Some, it, some victims or victims, you know, family members feel a catharsis about talking. Yeah, maybe maybe she didn't, but but some other people, members. This is a very large family. Yeah. Other members of that family really wanted to talk. Some about Some people him. say, "Wow, look at the world cares. Yeah. Look, yeah, the world exactly. cares about us." And so you never know what yeah. whether they're going to mm. shut the door in your face or they're going to let mm. you inside. You just don't know. And so I just always feel sorry for families that have never dealt with the media before yeah. who get thrown out there. But let, let me it's just our say job. That, uh, that part of this is that, and you know, I'm half with you, but half not. And I've had to do this same kind mm -hmm. of asking of questions right after some ter terrific, horrible thing happening, and you got to go do it. But people still in 2015 do not understand how media works. I can't say that enough. So they do not get why well, you are coming in my face and sure. my loved one just died. Sure. Really? Sure. Now, some people do. They're a little bit more sophisticated, and those families get a spokesperson. So stay away from the rest of us. Let Just go to yep. this one person, get your answers, and we, we, we know you have a job to do. But I can tell you that one bad media person 
really says it all for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And in her mind, yeah. and you know there was somebody oh, acting yeah, out. I know. You know there was somebody <laughs> acting out. Sure. That's all she needed, and yeah. it was probably more horrific than she cared to mm -hmm. even describe. So for that, I do understand. We have to go over and above to really make certain that when we're out there asking these questions in that scenario, that we understand. And if you've ever been on the other side, a yeah. little bit, you know what that's like. Yeah. So that's all I can say is that it, it, it I get her. I get what she's talking about. I man. totally agree <laughs> with you, Kelly. I think it's really hard to weigh in on her, her accusation of salaciousness because we don't know specifically what she's talking about. There may have been a reporter who was relentless dogging her on Facebook when she said, or no, thank you, I don't want to, or a yeah. photographer. Yeah. She said there were people who yeah. were trying, you know, standing nearby yeah. trying to get pictures of her family crying. You know, I wasn't with anyone who was doing that, but that doesn't mean it, yeah. doesn't ha it didn't happen. So we can't say, she wasn't saying the media wasn't affected. She was saying that she had an experience no, or several yeah. experiences that were really negative. Yeah. I think as a rule of thumb, you know, people should remember that this is our job if we're approaching them after a tragedy. And we should be willing, if someone says, I don't want to talk to you, I'd really like you to leave me alone, we should be willing yeah. to I do just, that. I That's felt enough. like, having listened to her in court, it was a very broad brush. And if, if she had narrowed it, I think it, yeah. it might have been better. But it, it was really the media. It was, well, it was pretty broad. In, in their mind, one yeah. person represents she, all of She us. did say yeah. at one point, it, it wasn't all of you, and you, you people know who you are. But, you know, and, and by the way, this was a, a victim impact statement. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. interesting to me that she spent that much time addressing the issue of the media because that was the ultimate outcome for her over mm -hmm. what Jahar Zarnayev did. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can understand yeah. that. I really can.